Hi, I'm Denise Gagne. I'm here to do a quick overview of Lesson 21, February Week 2 Lessons for Pre-K to Grade 6 or Middle School. So I'm on the Classic site. This is our original website, musicplayonline.com. The modules are found over here, online learning modules. I select my grade and then I can select Week 21. But we have a new site in development and it's live now. You're welcome to use the new site. In fact, we encourage you to new, use the new site. On the classic site, this is what the modules look like. But when I go to beta.musicplayonline.com, I can log in. Um, the beta site, the learning modules are a, a much nicer design. So I filter by grade here instead of the drop down menu and then I choose lesson 21. This is lesson 21 for pre-K. We have an outline and the concepts, I can statements, and we start with, it's music time, it's music time, a little echo song for our little ones. And then body moves is a fun one where kids get to move all sorts of interesting things like their eyebrows up and down. Whoops Johnny is a name game. Johnny, 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 whoops, Johnny, whoops, Johnny, 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 Johnny. Don't assume that all your pre-K kids know the names of everybody in their class because they don't. And so this is a good way to use all the names of the kids in your class. And you ask them, would you like your name fast or slow? And they, Sarah, 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 whoops, Sarah, whoops, Sarah, 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 Sarah. Go around the class, do it loud and quiet. You can even do it with a high voice and a low voice. That's a really hard concept for pre-K to learn. Then we're going to learn the finger play, mix a pancake. And here's the movements for the mix a pancake um, finger play. And then we read the story of Pancakes, Pancakes by Eric Carl. And um, at, at the end of each section of the, the book, we sing pancakes, pancakes, I want some pancakes. And at the end of the story, we say the mix of pancakes um, term. Shrove Tuesday comes up in February. So if you want something for Shrove Tuesday, this is a great little lesson. And then we tell the children the surprise symphony story. Here is the story. And here is a picture of Mr. Hyden so that you can show what the composer looked like. And then we listen and we dramatize a sleepy listener. That is a fun activity for the kids. The more we get together is for Valentine's Day and you substitute children's names in the song as well. Um, I Like Valentine's is an echo song, easy for pre-K children to, to learn. And it's much the same as um, I made a snowman that we did earlier in the year with pre-K. And um, we're going to use this melody again when we come to St. Patrick's Day for I like leprechauns. So I like Valentine's echo. Yes, I do. And so you can play the video and have the kids sing along. Here's some movement ideas for you if you would like those. And the Valentine game, I give a heart out to a child and they sing, I have the Valentine. And the one who's hiding their eyes and guessing has to guess who it was that sang. It takes a little while for three and four year olds to learn how to do this, but they really enjoy it. And we end with skin and break. So that is the pre-K lesson, lesson 21 for February week two. I'm going to look now at the kindergarten lesson for February week two. And on the beta site, I just select my grade level, select my lesson, and up it comes. This is where we have song details or lesson details. Here is the outline. And for kindergarten, um, we're gonna sing the echoes in welcome to school, everyone. And then we're gonna echo Valentine Bobo. We've dressed him up for Valentine's Day. And we've even had some teachers who've reported that their children made their own Bobos and sang patterns, just like Mrs. Gagne does in their classes. Here's echo instrument rhythms. So you can see drum, drum, shaker, shaker. The kids would echo those words, drum, drum, shaker, shaker. Um, and at the end, I do, Tell them it's ta, ta, 
T, 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 T. If you do different rhythm names, just say them over top of me and the kids will echo yours. We have something new. We have a body percussion play along. And this may be a little bit quick for your students. I'm gonna go full screen. If it's too fast, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. But if it's too fast for your students, There is a little gear wheel right here, and you can slow it the speed down. If I click the gear wheel again, I want to slow the speed down to three-quarter speed. So if you find it's going too quick for your students, just slow it a little bit. But I think this is going to be a fun activity for your students. Now, the I Like Valentine's song in kindergarten is not an echo song like it was in pre-K, but it's a good song for um, teaching children to sing with expression. So some parts of the song were uh, quiet when we sing about um, little valentines, frilly valentines. We sing it in a quiet voice. When we sing about giant valentines made of chocolate, we sing it louder. And so that leads into the activity, loud or quiet. And what I like to do first with the students is make a pattern, loud, 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 quiet, quiet, loud, loud. Then we clap the pattern. And then I invite some of the children to suggest different patterns. We try out a whole bunch of them. Um, and, and if you would like, you can play music along with it. Um, if your kindergartens are not reading, skip this activity, skip this activity. But these are fun to assign dynamics to a line of a poem. Three little fishies swimming in the sea. Along came a hungry shark, quiet as can be. The low fish, she said, you can't catch me. Snap! And he catches them. So there's a whole menu of poems that you can use. In fact, Mix a Pancake is here. So if you've done mix a pancake with pre-K, you could do this again with older, uh, with your kindergartens, and you could decide what dynamic level to do it. That is a great interactive activity. Then we're gonna do, hey there, Fred, tell me how do you do? We're gonna have fun, yes, me and you. Won't you give me high five at boogie on down? Hip check once and turn around. Now, we're not touching this year, so you play the game and you think of different ways. If you're on Zoom with your kids, ask them to go find a stuffed animal that can be their partner. If you're in person, the teacher can choose someone to be everybody's partner in the class and everybody points to them and does the movements. So just like I'm doing with you now on the video, you do um, an alternate activity. Then there's time to review last week's uh, lesson. Pages Train is a great song. Choo, choo, choo. Kids love this song. If you haven't done it, by all means do it. The fast, slow game is fun for the kids to do. Willoughby is a fun little singing game dance. And again, you're going to change the activity uh, for your Zoom or in person. And we end our kindergarten lesson by singing, singing Skinnamarink. So this is the kindergarten lesson for uh, week 21, lesson 21, and it's February week two. Now I'm going to introduce the grade one lesson. Lesson 21, February week two. And again, we have our uh, lesson outline here and our objectives. I can sing and move to music. I can play instruments. I can read rhythm and melody patterns. And we have some supporting resources. When you see this little symbol, it's a PDF. This is a PDF of a class book for Aiken Drum. We're gonna do that song today. And uh, you can have your kids make you a custom made big book. It prints out on eight and a half by 11 paper. Enlarge it, print it out on 11 by 17. Then it fits nicely on a black music stand. So we have a new, um, Welcome to music. And this time it is a play along. If you haven't done this before, you absolutely can. Now we're going to. Welcome to music. Welcome to music. 
Um, this one accidentally got recorded in a low key. So I'm not recommending that you sing with that recording, but you clap with that recording instead or pat and clap. Body percussion fun is gonna get the kids clapping, patting and stomping to the music. If it's too quick, you can slow down with the gear wheel right here. You click on that and then I can change my speed to three quarters. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, I was patting. Stop, 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 clap, 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 clap. Now it's pat, 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 pat. Don't do it wrong like I did. Do it right with your kids. Um, that was three quarter speed. I can go back to normal and it's probably a good tempo for your students, but just know that you can adjust the speed of videos faster and slower. So I Like You is a great uh, song. If you're doing Valentine's with all your kids, this is the Valentine option. There's a word change in the friend option. I like you. Yes, I do. Will you be my Valentine? Gets changed to Will you be a friend of mine? If you want to do the friend option, if that's better for your school situation. Watch a kid's demo. And then we've got some ideas of how you can adapt it. So in Zoom, um, we've got the adaptions here. So choose a student, invite other children to unmute and tell why they like the chosen student. And everybody sings to that. Um, to that student. And in person, you could do the same thing as well, but you use the recording now instead of singing and you just do the movements. Uh, I have had teachers report, they've done this game in their classroom with their students because they had a big enough classroom, they actually could space them six feet apart. So you have to adapt to your circumstances. Now, I like you, Create an ostinato pattern that will go with it. For example, will you be my friend? And decide how you're going to perform it. If I have kids at desks, I could do it on the table. Will you be my friend? Will you be my friend? Or will you be my valentine? Will you be my valentine? You can do it however you want. Uh, will you be my friend. Will you be my friend? You decide how you want to uh, perform the ostinato. So if you're in person, you'll do the ostinato with the recording. If you're on Zoom, I suggest um, dividing the class and one group performs the ostinato, the other sings the song. And that's normally how I would do it in class pre-COVID. So let's just try, will you be my friend? Ostinato with I like you. <laughs> Will you be my friend? 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 And it does work. It's quick. Um, we might want to use that slow downer tool here and slow it down to three quarter speed. I like you. Yes, Will you be my friend? Will you be my friend? Will you be my friend? So ostinato is always a good thing to do with your little people. It gets them ready. Well, it, it has them working in two parts. Then have the kids find something to use for instruments. And uh, we're going to sing along with Aiken drum. So uh, there's verses um, and we play upon the sticks. The sticks. Sticks and drums aren't going to be too hard to do with kids on Zoom. Triangles substitute shakers played upon the shakers, shakers. Just tell the kids you're going to have to substitute. And then if you're in person, this is actually a really good activity for your classes where singing isn't permitted, touching's not permitted, listening and responding to music by illustrating a verse of the song is a really good way uh, 
to keep kids engaged and they like doing this. And at the end of this, you have a big book of the song that you can keep for years. You um, copy it onto eight and a half by 11 paper, and then I enlarge it to 11 by 17 so it's even bigger. I give it to the kids and um, there is an extra page given for kids to create their own verses. So if you've got kids who are super fast, give them the extra page and have them create their own verses. Then you coil the pages together. They fit nicely on a black music stand and you have a big book of ache and drum. Um, Kangaroos is beautiful. We love these videos with the live animal footage. And then we do the acting out. We act out a mama, mama kangaroo that's looking for her baby. So we hop like a kangaroo during the jumping parts. And then we look during the long notes. And then after you've done this, have the children tell you which notes in kangaroo are short. The jumping notes are short. Which notes are long? The looking notes are long. And then as time permits, review songs from lesson 20, Little Tommy Tittlemouse. If you didn't finish the guess guessing game with your students, finish it now. Uh, Michael Rowe, that's a good song for Black History Month. Rig a Jig Jig is a fun singing game. And uh, Undo Trois is actually another really fun singing game. And then the music time is over. So this is grade one, lesson 21 for February week two. Now I'm going to talk about grade two lesson for February week two. So this is lesson 21. And again, our outline is here. We're going to do some work with um, I See the Moon, which is another So Me Do song, The More We Get Together. Um, we've got a Valentine Color the Note activity as an optional activity. So clap the rhythms with Welcome to Music. So that's the same as it was for grade one. We do a rhythm play along now with the recording instead of singing Welcome to Music. Body percussion fun. This is gonna be fun again for your grade twos um, and where they get to clap, pat and stomp to the music as the music shows them. going because you can play with that with your kids and then they actually sing the song we more the more we get together and where there's um blank spaces in the song use the names of the students in your class and fill it in with the names uh we're going to do a new song i see the moon and i put the interactive solfa first and you can use this to read the rhythms again use whatever rhythm names you use i use ta's and tt so ta t t ta T T ta ta two half notes is our new rhythm in grade two. So this is great for um, grade twos to be doing this. And then we do the solfa. And kids can do this alone on their devices or you can do it as a class. And then we watch the video. This is a, actually a really nice orf accompaniment that's used in this recording. So we have the song and again, we're going to create ostinato with the song. And I've suggested using the composition tool to create the ostinato. If you are using the composition tool, okay, it made it to it. So I could use level two or level three. Um, I'm going to go to level three and I'm going to do ta, ti, ti, tu. Now an ostinato is a pattern that repeats. So I need to do that pattern four times. And if I have, if I'm in person and I have triangles, that would be lovely. Finger symbols would be lovely. So ta, ti, tu, ta, ti, ti, tu. One group does ostinato, one group sings. I'm going to try and do both. I see the moon and the moon sees me. 
God bless the sailors and God bless me. I like to start and end like that with the ostinato. So that's the staff composition tool to create the ostinato. Or if you prefer or, and you're able to, divide your class up into groups and have um, the, the groups create and play the ostinato. Um, I've got a copy of Water Lilies by, by Monet, and I'm not going to teach them a whole lot of art history, but it's called Impressionist Art because it's not detailed. It just gives an impression of the water lilies. And then we want the kids to draw a moonlight picture as they listen to Claire de la Lune or Moonlight by Claude Debussy. And I would get them to start by drawing the moon because that's what it's about. And then I would have them draw what the music's, what they're hearing. I could draw the short notes and the long notes. And if you let them have a large selection of colored markers to draw with, you're going to have a really beautiful uh, picture when they're done. And I would love to see those. Here's the kids' demo of Circle Round the Zero. <clears throat> I asked on Music Play Teachers Group on Facebook um, for ideas for this because I wasn't entirely sure how this could work. Um, on Zoom, I would ask the kids to find some stuffed animals that would be the, become their partners. In person, um, have the kids choose someone who'd be their distanced partner. Sing or play the recording, depending on what you're allowed. Circle around the zero, they could circle in place. Find your love in zero. They point to their distanced partner. Back, back, zero. They would turn their back on their partner and be back, back, zero. Um, one teacher suggested they should clap where it says back, back, zero. Side, side, zero. Front, front, zero. Swing your love in zero. Do another circle. Um, but we've got lots of alternate game suggestions in here that came from the teachers and the music play teachers group on Facebook. Uh, one teacher has tabanos and she covers them up with plastic wrap so she doesn't have to sanitize as much. Um, and uh, she's, she had her kids pretend that the drum is the partner. So that was, uh, I think you'll have fun with that and you'll be creative and find a way to adapt it that works for you. Again, review songs from lesson 20 as time permits. Here's the hand jive for Love Grows Under. Um, learn, re review about the song Gitsi Gokamam if you have sufficient time. Play the song, play the stick game. If you have two or three lessons in the week, you'll do all of this. If you only have one lesson, you're probably going to be stopping a ways ago. And then I sent to Valentine as a fun game. And then we do the music time is over and we sing our goodbyes. So that is the grade two lesson, 21 February week two. Now I'm going to look at February week two, lesson 21 for grade three. In this one, I am asking the teachers to be the musician for this. I want you to play beats in groups of two or in groups of three. I need a drum. Have the children move the way the drum is telling them to move. And then you stop and they pose. They make a statue shape. And then you ask them, were those beats moving in twos, threes, or fours? And if they were listening, they would hear this. And I've put the accents in the notation for you so that you know to really accent so they know it's one, two, one, two. Uh, it's very difficult in, in as a musician to hear whether something's, at times, it's very difficult to hear whether something's in two or it's in four. So make it really obvious for your kids. Then you play in threes. One, two. So if I was doing the movement for this, I might do one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's up to your kids to find a way to move. And when you stop, they freeze and you say, 
how were the beats moving? Um, this is important to do with kids. I actually do this more times in the year than I probably have put in the lessons. Um, and I'll go back and put it in more. Just for fun, I threw in some 5-4 because I think it's good for kids to get experience in mixed meter. And I did one, two, one, two, three, but you could turn it around and do one, two, three, one, two, and do it that way as well. And then we get some play alongs. This is a, a lesson that has lots of listening in it. Larghetto is by Mozart. Um, again, if you need to slow it down, this is the slow downer tool. Um, Larghetto is a nice example of 4-4 four, four meter. We'll see it when we get to get the video open. There we go. You can also actually also use this to teach form. I think this is an ABA form, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, and that is a very good example of ABA form for your students. Clap the rhythms for the more we get together. This is in one, two, three, one, two, three. So here's a musical example in three. Here's another musical example in three, and this is from the Nutcracker. This is Waltz of the Flowers. Invite the kids to have paper plates in hands. Um, if you don't have paper plates, use two pieces of paper or just use your hands and that will work too. And you just move hands back and forth. Uh, but this was in the Nutcracker performance unit and it's fun. And here's Musette. Um, there's a really good play along if you go to the listening section that uses and teaches 16th notes, but grade threes might not be ready for that. So I chose to do the ribbon. You can do this with ribbon or you can do this with scarves. And if you don't have a ribbon or scarf at home, you can use two Kleenexes or you can use two napkins or you can use two hunks of toilet paper and have the movements doing it. Um, and kids, again, will enjoy that. And you've got me doing the demo here so you don't have to think it up. I suggest watching the demo for the song Tom Moulin. It's in French. I'm not asking you to learn the language. It's done because this is a mixed meter piece. In the A section, the beats are grouped in three. In the B section, the beats are grouped in two. So that makes it a really interesting piece to do. And then alt uh, create alternate movements um, where the kids do, let me just show you where the kids do this. When they're doing that, you could instead, if you're in person, yay, two door, da 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 and then where it's tomolan, tomolan, da 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 tomolan, tomolan. So just create your own movements to adapt from the traditional way the game is played. And then we have one of my favorite, favorite songs, Austrian Rent Yodeling. And we created a new demo for it. And because this demo was created in COVID, we're all wearing masks, but it will still show you the movements. And it's a fun song. We have an optional Valentine's Color the Note activity in this lesson. And we'll do quarter notes blue and eighth notes red half notes purple, and if you have a rest, you don't color it. I just thought that was kind of fun. Don't color where there's a rest. I've included in this a review of last week's lesson on Love Somebody. If you have time, this is a great activity. A few people posted videos of their students doing it, and they did a great job. So first you say the words, then you read the rhythms, and then you start substituting. Stop. Love, so in, I'll say the words and I'll stomp on the TT. Love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, but I won't tell who. And the next time we're gonna pat beat two. Love somebody, yes I do. And the next time we're going to clap beat three. Love somebody, yes I do. And the next time we snap on four, love somebody, yes I do. And then we transfer all those to instruments. So again, substitute freely what you have. Um, if you didn't do this last week, I would 
really encourage you to try this with your kids. Pirate song is more or less an optional song because so many people can't sing, but it's fun to do the movements for it. Um, when we are allowed to sing, this is a great choral performance piece. Cup games for the favorite rag to review. And that is our lesson for grade three, lesson 21, February week two. This is grade four, lesson 21 for February week two. And I've taken some of the ideas from the third grade lesson because I really like them. So the beats moving in groups of two, you play. And you have your students move in twos, threes, or fours, they freeze. And then you ask them, were the beats in twos, threes, or fours? Um, grade four, I've gone on to label time signatures. The top number of the time signature tells how many beats there are in the measure. In two, four time, two beats. In three, four time, there will be three beats. And I do tell them that when there is a four on the bottom of the time signature, it tells that a quarter note gets one beat. That's not something my fourth grade would necessarily know. Um, I've given the fourth grade a link to the tempo interactive. And in this one, you can choose different meters. We have four, four meter, we have three, four meter, we even have five, four meter. So you can choose where your students are at and practice reading rhythms in each of those meters. Then we have the recorder melodies. This is the new interactive tool. I'm gonna to go full screen on this. You can choose a song. So if they're already pretty good at all, their introductory songs, you might just ask them to skip ahead and practice sidestep. And then we can play G, A, B, A. And if I want, I can play with the keyboard. Let's see, there's the keyboard. So G, A, B will be the numbers five, six, and seven. And our wonderful developers have made those bars move, so I know I'm on the right one. So that's the recorder section for this week. I'll close out of that activity and I have to go. Um, and then I gave the grade fours, the love somebody activity, just because I thought it was a really good activity. Does not hurt the grade fours to review 16th notes and um, they will enjoy it every bit as much as the third grade did. And I believe I put the favorite cup game, uh, cup game for favorite rag in here as well, and the color, the note values. So grade fours are borrowing a little bit, a lot, <laughs> from grade three this week. So that's the grade four lesson, 22, February week two. Grade five and middle school. Lessons are the same for, the, for lesson 22. So lesson 22, February week two, is the same lesson for fifth grade and for middle school. I'll look at the middle school version of it. Lesson 21, History of Jazz. We're going to continue with the song Scooby-Doo. And that is a great, um, great song, really great song. It's jazzy, it's fun, and it's got fun movements. Supporting resources include a teacher's guide, which has the answer key, the worksheet for Lester Young and one about bebop and the lesson guide is written for this already. So in the Scooby-Doo song, I'll show you the movements that I do. ostinatos, four ostinatos. First time, everybody sings everything in unison. The second time, the high scoobies will do the high scoobies 
four times. And everybody else goes on to the low Scoobies. The group that you designate as the low Scoobies will do low Scoobies three times. So they'll do high Scoobies and then they'll do low Scoobies three times. The third group is going to be the, um, I'm forgetting here. I've done this. I'm wrong. Group one is the do, do, and they'll do that four times. They'll just keep doing do, do through the whole thing. Group two, high Scoobies. Group three, low Scoobies. And group four is the bop, do, wop. And those groups, if you layer them in, it, you have you have your fifth and sixth grades performing in four parts, which is fabulous. This is a class performance where they did the ostinatos on instruments. So I've given the notation here so you can try on instruments. Of course, you can't play that low A, but you could do a second A up here and the virtual xylophone to play it on. Here's the second set of ostinatos and you can go up and play it on the virtual xylophone once you have it open. Now we're gonna learn about Lester Young. Here's the worksheet. You can give this to the students as background in a Google slide and have them complete the answers, or you can simply discuss the questions. Up to you what you choose to do. Listening assessment, they need to hear this piece. And so there's a link to that piece right here. So they can go back and answer those questions after they've heard the piece. Then we're gonna learn about bebop, answer those questions. The bebop listening example is by Charlie Parker, it's Coco, and the link to it is right here. So that is our lessons for lesson 21, February week two, pre-K all the way through to middle school.